come back you guys so this will be episode uh i guess you could say 14 because i did like three ovas so that was basically like episode 13 um but this video i'm showing you that i am still actually smart and able to do things so if you haven't watched my other videos this one is just to show you um i bought a um 20 inch bicycle tires the kit with these inner tubes that came with them but one of the inner tubes that i got from the kit uh, about a week ago um this one right here it was actually leaking air when i put it in and aired it up so i tried to wait give it a day for it to see if it was going to air out all the all the air and it did so i contacted the seller on amazon about the issue so he sent me this box over here and it came with two new inner tubes and a tire removal kit um oh, like hold on i can show you so this inner tube with this inner tube and this these two pieces right here these are for the spokes that go around the rim and this is the tire removal tool it's basically a really hard plastic and it goes around the edges so that you can remove your tire off of the rim so since i got all that i don't even use that because i got this angle grinder i got two angle grinder wrenches here for my angle grinder that i use to cut on um, metal with basically is for it has a metal cutting disc on it so i got two of them right now and i use those to pop open the tire off of the rim to score around the edge just to make sure that the tire actually completely removes from the uh, from the rim and i aired this up and it's actually holding i could squeeze it a little bit here and it is still pretty tight which is good and this is the other bike that i have gotten with my sister's boyfriend about a week ago so this inner tube i was going to use two of them for my bike over there so the front inner tube was working for the front tire so i'm thinking maybe once i check i'm probably going to give it a day just to make sure that this air in this inner tube works then i'm going to take this brand new tire off of here and place it on the bike that i do use to like get to work and stuff but either way um if you're wondering there is some aluminum foil tape on the inside basically or the edges of the tire because i noticed that when the tire was being aired up there seemed to be a little bubble causing to over inflate the inner tube and then it would pop i think that was one of the reasons why the inner tube this one over here had started leaking air so what i did i put some aluminum foil tape on the inside and the outside on the edges here just to make sure that when i aired up the tire it wouldn't make a little bubble or anything like that on the edges so i put it pretty much halfway around the tire you can see i mean yeah on the tire around the rim here so you can see all the aluminum foil tape to kind of help stop any of the inner tube a touch in the outside of the rim where i can cause it to have a leak or punch or a hole or something so since i did that this tire is now running just fine and i don't hear any air coming out so that seems to be doing just good anyway i hope you guys are liking this episode i know this hasn't isn't about like the ova part that i just showed earlier today and if you want to know more or want to know about the ova consider watching those because they're talking about how I'm feeling about my life. And I still feel that way, like how I was in the LVAs that I was talking about. But I just, the reason why I'm working on this bike or trying to get this air to work is just in case when I get to the podiatrist, because see right there, my toe is looking still pretty screwed up. It's a little swollen and um, I may it may be in infected, but either way, um, once I'm done getting that, fixed on my toe and stuff 
then I'm going to be hopefully getting back to work. I did let my manager know about it. So he told me that it was going to take me off the schedule for a while until I get everything fixed. Now I told him that I don't have the appointment to get my toe fixed until October 3rd. So it's going to be a few days, maybe like a week. But when I went to the hospital the other night, the information on the paper that the hospital get the the nurse gave me said it was going to take two to three weeks for my toe to start not affecting me basically but um so that should be way more than enough time as soon as i go to the podiatrist that i have that i showed in the other video so that office will be on october 3rd and then i'll um get my toe fixed hopefully and then it'll probably take about another day or two for me to heal because usually whenever I go to a podiatrist to have them take out an ingrown toenail or any issues that I may have, they have to put needles in my toe and then they cut into my toenail and sometimes they even make me bleed. So it's probably going to take about a day or two for it to fully heal. But either way, hope you guys are liking the video. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think, please, in a comment down below so I know if you guys are even interested in anything that I'm talking about. Anyway, I hope you guys like this series about the everyday life of Legit Lee. And I don't know how long I'm going to keep on going because I don't know how long I plan on living. But um, either way, hope you guys are liking the videos and I'll keep posting them here and there just to make sure that you guys are aware that I am still working on things and I'm am still alive and doing things but other than that that's pretty much the end of this video hope you guys like it let me know what you think in the comments down below i'll see you guys next time goodbye see you